Here we are at the William Wood High School STEM Fair 2015. We're having a fantastic night. The P6s and P7s from Associated Primary Schools are here. They're getting enthusiastic about coming to William Wood. And the S1s and S2s, they're going to now make informed choices at the end of S2. Upstairs, we've got Glasgow Science Centre putting on their fantastic show, Disgusting Digestions, and we've got really small signs doing demonstrations in nanotechnology with dirt. Glasgow University Sports Science Department are also here, and they're doing demonstrations and teaching the pupils the importance of health and well-being. the first ever STEM fair in 2009, so six years ago, and I was a pupil at William Wood, and now I'm here for the prosthetics and orthotics department. I've always been interested in science, mainly biology, and I took physics as a crash in um, sixth year, so I wasn't really ever interested in it, but once I started it, I loved it, and then um, my uni course just seemed to kind of fit everything together. It was biology, physics, maths, working with people a bit of art because it's quite hands on so that was just all my favourite things in one. Prosthetics is a great course, it incorporates everything and um, it's really rewarding, it's so interesting, really hands on and um, it captures everything really if you're into science. I'm currently in second year so another two years of uni and then hopefully a graduate job, a degree and then hopefully a life in prosthetics or orthotics.
Could I have your attention for one final time? I've got some really sad news to tell you. The STEM Fair 2015 is almost finished. Exactly. But there's good news. We've got to announce the prize winners. So if you are from one of the associated primary schools and you made an eco robot, could you come closer? There are three prizes, but you are all getting classed as the winners. So, could I have Dr. Lightbulb, which is from Carrollside Primary, and it's Neve, Isla, and Natasha. Could you come up, please? Also from Carrollside, we have Gabriel the gardener, she collects rain and then waters the garden, which was made and designed by Katie and Eve. So if Katie and Eve are in, can they come up as well, please? And lastly, from Busby Primary, can we have Karis, Isabel and Annie? We've got a prize which is out of this world for the pupils. You are going to love this prize. Now you'll need to share it because there's so many of you in the team. But you're getting space food, the food that the astronauts take to outer space and it's ice cream sandwich. Listen, can we have a big round of applause for the primary pupils? Next we have the secondary competition and this was equally as difficult to judge. The secondary pupils had to build an equal school. We've got a class of prize winners. If you are in Mr Wharton's science class, if you're in the room could you come up please and accept your prize. There is also a certificate for Mr. Wharton, who's going to wave. He's over at table two, but he's a bit busy just now doing physics stuff, so he'll get his certificate later on. Lastly, could I just thank each and every single one of you for giving up your time tonight and coming along. I need to thank all the external partners from the universities, from the local companies who have also sent staff in and given up time tonight. The S6 helpers who have given up their own time, big thanks to them. Also to the, the janitors, the school technicians and to the, the school staff who have been here since 8 o'clock this morning who are still working trying to make it a great experience. Thank you very much.